Hello everyone, welcome to this short tutorial video on how to load in reply files on Lamont Ultimate. By default, the game doesn't have a built in replay viewer, but by using the API that runs with it, we are still able to load in the replay files. First thing you need to do is start up Lamont Ultimate. Then you go to your web browser. I'll leave the link that you need to use in the description of the video. Then you go to rest watch replays. Click on that. Click on try it out. Then it'll load in the list of all the replay files that are currently saved by Lamont Ultimate. To quickly know which file you need Go to Steam, right click the game, manage, browse local files, go to user data, and then the replace folder. I've sorted it by date, and what's important now is to remember the file name of the race or session that you want to watch. So, for example, if I want to watch this one, I can remember the name or just basically copy the file name, go back to the web browser, hit Ctrl F, Ctrl V, and there it shows the information for that particular file. What's important now is that we remember the ID, 33 in this case, scroll a little bit up, go to get rest watch play ID, don't do this at the delete restwatch ID because then your file is gone forever. Enter in 33, click on try it out. It will show replay valid to play if it's done correctly. Go to the game, that'll load in the replay file, and then we can control the replay by assigning replay control buttons to your gamepad or keyboard, wheel, whatever you like. So if I go to controls, I've already assigned a couple buttons. We can use the camera buttons to control uh, the cameras during the replay. If you go to interaction, there you can assign the replay control buttons. The only one that doesn't work, at least from what I discovered, is the fast rewrite. All the others work. Now if you go back, we click watch, then we're gonna watch a little bit of the replay. I'll fast forward a little bit. By default, if you press the numeric minus or plus key, it'll change cars. Basically, hitting the numeric enter button goes back to your car. Of course, you have a couple trackside groups that you can cycle through. We can use the swingman camera and use the numeric controls by default to control that one. We can pause the replay if you want to make some screenshots. We can use the slow motion button as well. Of course we can rewind and fast forward. And we also have different onboard cameras that we can switch between. So that is basically it in terms of replay controls. If you want to know which driver you're actually watching uh, or make sure that you're watching the right driver, you can go back to the standings, click their name, click watch again, and the replay will continue watching that car.
So that is basically it. Of course, eventually there will be coming a uh, in-game replay viewer, but until then, this is the way to do it. Um, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Please do hit like if you like this video and make sure to click subscribe as well to see more of the content on my channel. I hope you enjoyed this video and see you on track soon. Have a great day and bye bye.